Hey, this is the Amateur Logician from AmateurLogician.com. I really do hope you are doing well, and I want to show you another book. While there's no shortage of introductory logic books out there that specialize in deduction, there really does appear, so to speak, a shortage of books that specialize in induction. Now, this book is old. It's a used copy. It's definitely a book before my time. But just because it's an old book doesn't necessarily mean it's out of date or bad. In fact, this book is quite good, and that's why I'm making this video on it. I highly recommend it. And that is Choice and Chance, an Introduction to Inductive Logic. This is a third edition. It has a nice philosophical approach to induction by including, for example, an entire chapter addressing David Hume's arguments against the rational justifications of induction. It also includes the Goodman Paradox and the New Riddle of Induction. You'll definitely find, in addition, John Stuart Mill's Inductive Logic Methods. You'll get a good intro-level introduction to the probability calculus in this book. Overall, it's a good book you can buy used if you so desire. It's definitely different, for example, than this contemporary book by Hacking, An Introduction to Probability in Inductive Logic. This book by Hacking definitely has a focus on probability, and in that sense it's more detailed and in-depth on probability. But this book here, Choice and Chance, has a wider philosophical scope when it comes to induction. For example, by addressing David Hume in depth. And while it's concise and short, it's very readable. You don't have to be a math major to understand the probability theory in this book. While it does have some rigor in it, it also has concrete examples to build step-by-step -step an intuition for this kind of material. Let's take a look at the table of contents. So chapter one is on probability and induction. We have arguments, logic, inductive versus deductive logic, the general and the Pacific, epistemic probability, and so forth. Chapter two, as I said, is on David Hume, the traditional problem of induction. Hume's argument, the inductive justification of induction, the pragmatic justification, and so forth. Chapter 3 is on the Goodman Paradox and the new riddle of induction. So again, it has a nice philosophical approach to understanding, can we even justify induction? Then we get into John Stuart Mill's methods. As I said, it is definitely a readable book, and I think we can all benefit from reading this book and studying from it. Then with chapter five, you get into the probability calculus. So the disjunction and negation rules, conjunction rules and conditional probability. You have Bayes' theorem, which we recently talked about on this YouTube channel. You get into sampling statistics, coherence, and kinds of probability. So it's a pretty cool book. And it is concise, but readable, which is nice. So it's not um, <laughs> at all a contemporary textbook with um, that super wordy with all these sidebars and tangents in it. Um, it's nice and concise and to the point, but readable at the same time. Um, I think we should skip ahead to the probability calculus because we've been talking a lot about that recently. So that's chapter five, I believe. Let's just keep on going. Okay, so chapter five is on the probability calculus. Talks about, for example, if a statement is a tautology, then its probability is equal to one. If a statement is a self-contradiction, then its probability is equal to zero. So this comes in handy, for example, when you're trying to prove the probability calculus from Kolkomorov's axioms. So these are propositionally true statements. These are something you can use um, to justify, for example, the negation uh, rule. You have a truth table. You have the disjunction and negation rules. So it takes a very nice concrete approach with an example, and the author just walks you through the example and um, the proof of the negation rule. So there is some rigor in it, which is really nice. So you again, you have that kind of truth table. Now, overall, I like this book. 
Um, down below, you will find a link to purchase this book from Amazon, if you so desire. If you purchase this book through that link, I will get a small, well, very small commission. But that's a way to help this YouTube channel. I would really appreciate that. Um, now, I do have a relatively new playlist on this YouTube channel devoted to inductive logic. Um, there's also a playlist dedicated to basic symbolic logic, where I go through the classic old textbook by Supes and Hill, First Course in Mathematical Logic. Um, I have a website, amateurlogician.com, where you will find an extensive tutorial on traditional verbal style logic. And you can sign up to my newsletter if you so um, desire to. In any case, I do hope uh, videos like this are beneficial to you, that you enjoy these types of videos and get something out of them. Logic is a fascinating subject to study, and it's really an important skill to develop, to develop your logical reasoning. And we all can work on it, um, including me, of course. That's why um, I have to teach it, to become more logical, so to speak. But in any case, um, thanks for your viewership. Good luck to you, and be well.